uh, retractable rod buckle made by boat buckle. But anyhow, I uh, showed you how I did the installation here. And then here is the uh, buckle in on the, on the boat. And yeah, it's going to be tight until it gets worked in. That's good. But uh, it cracks in and pulled it out. I located it here. Figured uh, don't need that now. I put it here. I figured with the uh, opening the lid, if I had some rods tied down there, I wouldn't necessarily dump. I have a better chance of me dumping them out in the water. Okay, so uh, that was the idea. If I had brought it across to here, it would have been a, a problem. Every time you needed to get into the rod locker, you'd have to undo the buckle. So hopefully this is going to work out. If not, guess what? <laughs> Move the buckle. Hit it with the vacuum. Okay, so uh, trimmed it out some more. I believe got uh, we're right on track with what I needed to be for a fit. And uh, we tuck it away in there. That looks like what I was expecting. Disregard that blue tape, because get ready to peel all that stuff off. You want to use that to help protect your uh, gel coat because you have to drill two holes for the mounting screws one eighth inch diameter based on the packaging and um, this blue tape down here is where you outline the template that comes with the packaging as you can see i had a big screw up and uh expose that here a little bit in a second boom there big mess uh, it covers it up the only area that doesn't get covered up is these two little corners right there where I overshot with that freaking uh, <laughs> uh, multi-tool eating machine my gosh that thing is like a hammer but you see got a good fit I'm just gonna see that one little area there I might get rid of that so I'm gonna pause this while I button it up with some screws alrighty got it all in place now so let me uh, unsnap some here get the turn buckle or the buckle here for uh, hooking it up so it's retractable pull it out snap it in what it does is it holds the rods in place 